Here is a property that we went to look at. It was at the end of a single lane dirt road. Hard to tell from Ariel that that was the case. On the way in, a little man on a four-wheeler ran himself over into Briars to get out of our way. Most of the property was up on the side of the mountain, and you can see some of the old structures that they had there for animals. It was an old homestead. This is the actual house that was down at the bottom, completely run down, holes, critters in it. It was very, very I mean, interesting to see that they had just left all of their stuff in the house whenever they left. There was two bedrooms upstairs, like just lots and lots of remnants of the folks that used to live there. It was a little bit eerie. Um... And kind of sad to see everything that they had left behind. This structure was very much piecemealed together where you can just see they built this themselves over time. I loved the rock wall and the rock foundation. But what was the most interesting is this building out back that up top was a shed, but underneath we couldn't get the door all the way open, but you can see all of their canned food, food preservation, just stacks and stacks of it all over the walls. Kind of sad that this food never got used, but incredible that they had done so much food preservation. I'm sure living off of that land for many, many years, it was really incredible. Such a sight to see. That's incredible. Oh my God. Here's their homemade boot cleaner oh, with sad. some metal pieces and head of a hoe and fun things there. That'd be the way to come in, right? One of their other animal sheds that literally was right along the side of the road. And there is properties past this that has been sold. So eventually folks are going to be driving right along those buildings. This was the little bit of pasture land. There was no structures down there. So I'm afraid this may flood at times. Not certain. But the views were incredible. 